Galaxy's Edge is here, and with it came brand new lightsabers, and I know a lot of you have questions. Today, we're going to answer as many of them as we possibly can. Hey everybody, welcome to the Dano channel. I am Dano, and I just got back from Galaxy's Edge, right? Galaxy, I've got lightsabers. This may look a little plain, like a little plain lightsaber, but this is the bare bones version of Savi's Workshop. Now over in Savi's Workshop at Galaxy's Edge, that's where you make your own custom built lightsaber. You can, you choose one of the themes and you can pick all the pieces and make your own lightsaber. Now many of us have seen the themes before. In fact, let's kind of pull up and take a look. I'll reread them for you just so you guys know what I'm talking about here. So on the Disneyland website, it says customize your own legendary lightsaber and become one with the force beginning June 24th no reservations are required. So as of right now, there are reservations that are required um, to get into Galaxy's Edge. You have to have a reservation. If you don't, no getting in, no standby entrance. But for Savi's itself, a lot of people have been wondering, do you need a path code? Because right here, I'm gonna read this to you. We're, we'll get into it. It says, choose your path, travel to Black Spire Outpost where a group known as The Gatherers ushers you into a covert workshop packed with unusual parts, whimsical pieces, miscellaneous memorabilia collected from the far reaches of the galaxy. Under their guidance, you can construct your... Huh? This guy. You can construct your very own... <laughs> now I'm really thrown off. There it is. You can construct your very own lightsaber and bring it to life through the power of kyber crystals. Builders, beware. You must protect the shop's secrecy to avoid being discovered by the First Order. Once your lightsaber is complete, purchase required, you'll be ready to embark on incredible new adventures in the far reaches of wild space to Star Wars Galaxy's Edge. So, meet one of the gatherers outside of the workshop, where you'll choose one of four available hilt themes and receive a pin to identify your selection. Now, the themes for these lightsabers include Peace and Justice, which is salvaged scraps from fallen Jedi temples and crashed starships in these Republic era designs. Honor the galaxy's former guardians. That's more Jedi style, just straight, typical Jedi style. Uh, next up, there's Power and Control, originally forged by Dark Side Warriors. This style features Rumored remnants of the Sith homeworld and abandoned temples. Again, that's going to be more Sith style. Elemental nature of this theme embodies the Force. There we go. Energy created by all living things like Brylark trees, Cartesian whale bones, and Rancor teeth. Very nice. That's one I picked. And another one I picked is the protection and defense hilt materials. Bear mysterious motifs and inscriptions that reconnect users with the ancient wellspring of the Force. Very cool. Very, very cool. All right, the gathers will now help you select the heart of your lightsaber, the kyber crystal, which during the show you can pick red, blue, green, or violet. So a lot of people are like, well, I saw white crystals and I saw yellow crystals. Uh, yes, if you watched my vlog, my previous video, I bought a yellow crystal from Doc Ondar's Den of Antiquities, which is another store that sells these crystals that work inside these holocrons, okay? That's something different. There's Jedi's holocrons, there's Sith holocrons, and there's the same color crystals, red, purple, green, blue, but also white and yellow are the different ones you can buy at Doc Ondar's. But when you go to the show and you pay your $200 for this lightsaber, if you try to bring your own crystal and you say, hey, can I put this in instead of picking one of yours? They will ask you not to, and you need to respect that. Because part of their show is going over the four colors that they offer you, and the other thing to consider is, let's say you do sneak your crystal in there and you like it goes comes time to light it up and you're the only one in the room with a yellow one. Some kid who just had their parents pay 200 bucks might be like, I want a yellow one now, why didn't I get a yellow one? And then the next thing you know, you've got parents yelling at cast members. You've got cast members who are like, I just need to get people moving because there's so many people who want lightsabers. And you've caused a problem. You've caused trouble. Just wait until you get out of Savi's workshop before you put in your yellow or your white crystal. Please, just please respect the cast members. Uh, but that being said, uh, the gatherers will help you. You do need to just go get you get your pin. Now, next you begin assembling your hilt. The parts will be provided based on your theme. So if you pick one of those four themes, you get different pieces. You get one hilt, which is that piece I just showed you. This is the actual hilt, which folks, this is made of plastic. It is made of plastic. It's very solid on the inside. Um, you do have to change the batteries using a very special screwdriver. I haven't changed them yet because I haven't needed to, but that is not a normal Phillips or flathead screwdriver. That, well, unless the battery compartment's way in there, which is possible, I don't know for sure. Honestly, I don't know where you change the batteries and they didn't exactly tell me 
where you change the batteries either. So that's a really good point. But all of the little um, spots here on the outside, those are not regular Phillips or flathead. Those are like hexagonal kind of deals and I don't fully understand why that is, why that is the way it is. Um, but again, one thing to keep in mind, they are run on batteries. They're tiny little Phillips screwdriver head things in the inside. I can't, I'll try to show you. Let me see if I can, if I can try here. Let's, let's see if this will work. There it is. You can kind of see inside there, there's four, it looks like three, I'm sorry, three little Phillips head screwdriver holes. There we go. You get a little bit better look. I believe that's where we're going to change the batteries, just so you know. Here's a nice close-up. There's some areas up top that light up. Those are some kind of hexagonal screw you can see in there. Very interesting. But this is the plastic hill. Again, it's very thick, durable plastic. It's not going to break if I just bang it on something. There's all my pieces. There are all the different crystals we talked about. Red, blue, and yes, I did buy multiple. You're only supposed to buy one per person. Uh, but what I've got here is I had my wife buy a set, so we each bought a red. We each bought a purple, we each bought a green, each bought a yellow, each bought a white, and each bought a blue. But then when we went to Savi's workshop, we each built lightsabers, so I had her pick green, and I picked blue for myself. And that's why we have as many as we do. And again, I've got a lot of stuff here on the table, because we're going to be looking at the blade length. We're going to be looking at kind of... The only thing I'm not going to do in this video is test the full durability of this blade. But for the record, I have an Ultra Sabers combat blade here this is the legit ultra sabers one this is what they this is it so so you know i'm going to be able to compare them and show you and already i can tell you look the the height difference is a little is a little off this is a larger blade again we'll measure them in a second this is the bottom the black part is the bottom of the uh custom lightsaber blade and to be specific with you guys those do not and i repeat they do not work with the legacy lightsabers. I bought the Jedi Temple Guard lightsaber and the Savi's Workshop blade does not fit. So just so you're aware, you will have to purchase a blade from Doc Ondar's Den, which is where they sell the legacy lightsabers. I know there's a lot of confusion. Savi's Workshop has the build your own. Doc Ondar's Den of Antiquities has the legacy lightsabers. Legacy lightsabers don't need these crystals. Build your own lightsabers do. You get to choose one when you build it. Does that make sense? Is it clicking? Is it starting to make sense? And yes, on the build your own, all of these will change the color and sound of your lightsaber. Also, they work inside these holocrons. The Jedi holocron will take all the colored ones, while the Sith one will take all the red ones, and there's different Sith, like Dooku, Vader, Kylo Ren, etc. Yes, there's a chance of getting a black one. I've heard about the black one. I broke the news on the black one like a week ago. I know all about the black one. Uh, honestly, I'm a little underwhelmed because it still makes the blade red. And all you do is unlock Snoke's voice in the Sith. And again, you can interchange them. You can put the colored ones into the red Sith holocron and it brings out more stuff with the Emperor. But again, I'll do that in another video. We're not talking about the holocrons today. We're talking about the crystals. We're talking about the lightsaber pieces. We're talking about the blades. And really how this works and how they kind of stack up next to each other. And again, here I've got a mag light just for reference. I've got the, uh, the, uh, it's an official video because I knocked something over. <laughs> it's been too long. Uh, but I've got the actual Savi's workshop hilt. And then I've got an ultra sabers, which you can see is much, much taller. Yeah, there we go. Okay, as you assemble your hilt, you are given four sleeves. Four sleeves. Two emitters, two pommel caps you can pick. Oh, two emitters you can pick one emitter. Uh, two pommel caps you can pick one. Two sets of activation plates. Uh, you pick one set or activation switches. And upon the completion, the used parts will be collected. So you don't get to keep all the parts on the tray. You only get to pick the ones that you're going to use in your lightsaber. Uh, upon completion, yeah, they'll be collected. These are not included in your lightsaber package. What is included in your $200 lightsaber package is this hilt. Pieces to complete this hilt. One blade, one full blade, and a carrying case, okay? That's that's all you get. You get those, I, mean, I wouldn't say that's all. And you get the show. The show itself is really amazing. Uh, just so you know, the blades are 31 inches is what they're telling me online. Let's 
test that right now. Let's pull this thing out to the 31 mark. That should be exactly the same. Okay, so get this. It's 31 inches to the black portion. From the black portion on, I guess I should do it the other way. Um, from the black portion on, just do it like that, actually comes down to about 34 inches, but the black portion on this thing is where it, uh, so from 31 down to about 34, that usually goes inside the hilt. So for those of you with carry-ons, etc., just, I've dropped another thing. But for those of you with carry-ons and stuff, uh, trying to travel overseas or trying to, whatever you're trying to do, um, just so you guys know, it's 31 inches. I don't know if you can fit that in your bag. I don't have the same size bag as you. A lot of people keep asking, Daniel, can I put it in my carry-on? I don't know. The TSA, look at their website for lightsabers. It's actually kind of funny looking. And maybe, maybe that's what, uh, maybe that's what you need. I don't know. It all depends on what kind of bag you're carrying with you. But it looks like they do allow lightsabers as a carry-on. Again, it's going to differ per airline. It's going to differ per security agent. So, unfortunately, there's no straight answer I can give you other than the measurements of 31 inches. Technically 33 if you don't have that thing inside of a... Uh, inside of a bag. Now with the actual lightsaber built, like if it might be a little bit more, but the full length of the lightsaber right now is 42 inches and some of the emitters and um, stuff go a little long. So I would say give yourself 45 inches total if you want it built and ready, but you can always take it apart and make it smaller, which I would suggest doing. To compare the Ultra Sabers blade Again, this is the point of this video is to kind of compare, contrast, and let you know and make let you make your own decision of is $200 worth it. 36 inches. So it says it's about five inches difference, and that is because if we stack them up right next to each other, we lose about three inches on this black portion, and then on the top it overlaps by about two inches. So that's where that other five difference is. Um, if you want to know about well, what's the quality, is the combat ready? Honestly, these feel the same. This is the durable, this is the Ultra Saber's more durable combat one I sprung for. And they feel the same kind of plastic. The difference being when this attaches to an Ultra Saber's, you get a little Allen wrench and you screw it in there. This one's got these two little metal slots that come in and twist and drop down. And this one has a gradual light up, while this one works just like a flashlight, just on and off. So, yes, I feel like they are the same quality. I don't know for sure. I'm not an expert in plastics or polyurethane, whatever the heck it is. But I just want to tell you, they feel very, very similar. It's like, is that a crack? Did I already get a crack? Because that'll, that'll answer some questions. If I got a, no, it's not a crack, it's just some goo. I was, I was like hoping for a crack. I was like, ooh, there we go, our first test of stress. Uh, but I'll do that in another video. In fact, I've got two blades here, and this weekend I'm returning to Galaxy's Edge, so I'll be buying yet another one. I can't stop dropping things. This is the most, official Dano Channel video ever. Okay, now before I get into the build and show you guys what the build looks like, everyone's gonna have questions. Do you need reservations? Do you have to go? My experience was, I got there at 8 a.m. They let us in a little early. So I ran to Doc Ondars and I bought crystals and stuff because I wanted to know, can I use my crystals? So I, that was in the vlog. But I lined up for Savi's at 8, 10, 10 minutes after the park opened officially, technically 20, because we opened early. But, and this might change, but my experience was, we get there, and they say, it's going to be about two hours. So we're like, oh, geez, two hours. And we so we jump in line. I have my wife wait in line. And I say, all right, hold the fort. I'm going to go scope something out real quick. And I went and looked at creatures and stuff, and I came back. And she texted me. She said, hey, the line's moving kind of quick. And they said that you have to be here when it comes time to pay and pick what theme, which happens before you pay. They, they come, the gatherers go through the line, and they say, all right, these are the different pieces we've got. They have these little cards, and they show you, is there one that you want? And they mark you down, and they give you like a number, and they keep track of it. So when you get to the register to pay, which for us took about an hour and a half, waiting in line, and we, again, we kind of like traded off and moved and stuff. Uh, so we were able to leave the line and come back as long as one of us stayed, you know, we could divide and conquer. Uh, but this is, again, my experience, and yours may be totally different. They might change things by the time you go. But we waited an hour and a half just to pay, and we paid. I gave them my money, all the credits, for two lightsabers. 
They said, how many people are building? Do you have any guests? We didn't have guests, it was just us. I didn't want to come back and risk another waste of time, so I paid for my wife to build my other lightsaber, which worked out really well. So if, if that's something you want, you want multiples, have a friend build one for you, just pay for him to do it, it's just worth it. Um, after that, what we did is we went over to the droid shop and we built a droid. We were told it would be about an hour between paying for Savi's workshop and the time that our group was ready. They gave us a blue card that said the blue group. We were told an hour, Said they said don't go far. They said we don't recommend leaving, but we did anyway. So do that at your own risk. We took it upon ourselves to go to the droid shop. We built the droid, this little guy here. This is S4DB4BY. He's a cute little bugger. Uh, got a little bit of an attitude on him, but uh, yeah, no, he's he's a sweet boy. There's the Anya. I was trying to turn him on, but he does some cool things. There you go. He speaks. Uh, but again, that took about an hour. So all in, we're about two and a half hours of our time was spent before we get in to Savi's workshop. And then we get into Savi's workshop. The whole show lasts about 14 minutes. If you want to see it, it's in my vlog part three from today or from whatever. I don't know. Just look up Dano channel opening day vlog part three and you can see it all right you guys can see it there the elemental nature a lot of people have been asking about the feel of these things on the elemental nature the cartesian whalebone it is a metal piece the whole piece is, every piece on here is metal but there are plastic elements and on the whalebone the cartesian whalebone it's actually like a rubber insert so the the silver parts are very very you can see them there the silver parts are very, very metal, but the white part is like a rubber feel. And same with the wood. Uh, the wood parts have, it's a kind of a rubber, which makes it have a nice grip. But both parts, you dig your fingernails into them a little bit, they're rubber, while the rest is metal. And when it comes to the uh, Rancor Tooth, the actual piece is, oh, the actual piece itself is metal. It does have the uh, CoverTech wheel. And the tooth itself is a very hard plastic, and you can see holes in the bottom. Those are to allow the sound to escape, because that's where it comes out of the bottom of the lightsaber. So for those of you who have been on the fence, just so you know, it is a hard plastic. Um, as far as, is it durable if you drop it? Probably. I'm assuming that they thought of that. Um, I, I haven't drop tested it. Then again, I, I just got it. So let's put this crystal in here. I've got the white crystal. figure we'll start with that. There we go. It does take a little finesse to get that to work the right way. You guys can kind of see it glowing in there. I'm going to put on my pieces, and as I showed in my previous video, it's really all about these little color tabs. They tell you exactly, oh, well, they tell you what to do, and it's nice if you listen. Um, I don't necessarily listen <laughs> ever. Did I do this wrong again? I just can't seem to make things work. That's why I have two different pieces. It's like, why, why is this not working? I mixed up my, uh, my other lightsaber piece with this lightsaber piece. Let's do that again. Oh, I still mixed it up. What am I doing with my life? What am I doing with my life? Can I do it? Can Dano build a lightsaber? Probably not. We good? We're gonna tighten this thing up. Do the tighten up. Yeah, is that good? You wanna see it? You, you already saw it, but you wanna see it? Very, very white. Now, you know what? Let's let's drop the lights a little bit in here. I, I'm not going to turn them all off, but I'm definitely going to turn some of them off. Ooh, you like that sound? I really like that sound, actually. Yeah, it's a little bit darker in here, but you guys can see. I just like I like the movement of that. Let's go to this camera. It just it looks it looks good. Notice that flash. Now the blade itself is a little bit wobbly. It is. You can kind of see it. It has a, a wobble to it. Um, I don't love that. That I wish was a little bit better. Ooh, look at, but just look at that light up. Goes up and down. That's a cool effect. You don't get that on Ultra Sabers. I'm sorry, you don't. Like. It's just, it's one of those things where it's like, well... Is it worth it? You decide. You guys decide. What's, you decide what's worth it for you. I'll decide what's worth it for me. For me, it's worth it.
for me, this and that show is totally worth it. But like I said, we're going to go through all of these. Sorry for making this video a long-winded video, but there's a lot of info here. There's a lot of good stuff. So let me put the yellow crystal in. Now, if I remember correctly, I'm going to put these over to the side. I can just put the switch in. I don't need to put the other part, but I can just turn it on. Yeah, <laughs> look at that. It's loose. It's, I should probably tighten it some. But, um, again. Listen to that sound. It is a different sound. I like that. I like that they each crystal unlocks a different sound. Isn't that cool? Like, and again, on this slower camera right here, it just, the way it like moves on that camera looks really good. And again, I can't turn off all my studio lights right now, but you can see it enough. All right, so I'm gonna remove my little thing here. We've done white, we've done yellow. We could, let's do, let me put my yellows and my whites off to the side. Um, I do believe, let's do red so you guys can hear what red sounds like. Now, the colors are all the same sounds. They, like I said before, they unlock different parts. Ooh, they unlock different parts of the holocron, and th there will be very like subtle differences between the cuts of crystals, but not on the lightsaber. The lightsaber seem to all make the same sound, even if it's a different cut. There's a red. It's a very, very vibrant red. Again, it looks better on this camera than it does the other. I just like that, that look. And I like that subtle flash. It's, it's, it's good. You may not see it so much on this camera, but it does have a, it's like a little white flash. Oh. Yeah, it's, that's cool. To me, that's, that's amazing. I like the sound of it. It sounds good. Let's go on to the green. Let's remove the red crystal on with the green crystal and again these all the greens seem to make the same sound there might be different ones but i haven't found them oh i like it i like it again beautiful color this one flashes yellow you can kind of see it real quick as it flashes very nice i i just think this is these are these are really good quality yeah, and watch that light up. Oh, yeah. And the sounds. That's... These are cool. The soundboard alone is neat. Yes, you have to pay extra for crystals. The crystals are $12.99. So, yeah, I spent a ton of money on just crystals alone. But... I mean, I, I figure it's a multiple, multi-step investment for me. I use them in the holocrons. I can use them with the lightsaber. So again, it's really all about what your, what your own level of participation and comfortability is. There we go. The crystal's resonating. We can plop the, uh, the button in. Ready? You guys ready? Oh yeah. This would be Mace Windu sound. Just kind of swish it around the mic. Again, all the sound comes from right here at the bottom. You can see those holes. That's where it happens. But and again, it flashes yellow. So cool. So cool. All right. You want to see that? Oh yeah. Just the sound of that thing. I really like that ignite sound. To me, that's that's actually probably one of the coolest sounds. And next up, let's do the blue. Oh, it's already beeping. Whoa, he's not. What? You like the blue one? What? All right, all right, all right, all right. Easy, 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 easy. Okay, I, I guess I see why he likes the blue one. Wow. Okay, let's see here. Okay, there we go. 
But I I know, I know. Hold on. Alright, let's let's do this. You ready? <laughs> My love cat's going crazy. Okay. Alright. Oh. Okay, okay, easy, easy. You guys ready? I don't know which camera, do I do it to you? I'm gonna do it to this one. Oh yeah, that's a gorgeous, look at that blue. And again, on camera, you're not seeing it nearly as well as I am. Oh, that's gorgeous. Let's do it this way. Just look at that blue on my face. And it flashes white. That's really cool. But, yeah, yeah, blue and white. Yeah, okay. And just that sound. It's a very classic lightsaber sound. Very cool. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna, oops, I'm gonna drop yet another thing. Okay, let me loosen this up just a little bit. Come on, loose it up, loose it up. So I can put that blue piece in there. Loosen up a little more. Again, that's how it works. The center pieces tighten up, and that's really what does it. And then you can center, go to the other ones. I am going to leave that as blue, and I'm going to take out, just because I want you guys to see the other one. Um, this is my other. It's my blank. I'm just going to build it for you real fast. We're going to go this way. I should have taken the blade off, but what if these... I'm going to put this emitter... Like so. This is my ancient protection and defense lightsaber. Let me kind of slip this pommel down on the bottom. You guys can see it's a pretty quick build. Once you get used to it, and if you can sort your pieces out, unlike me, a dingus, I'm going to go with, I'm going to go yellow. I, well, yeah, let me hear yellow one more time. We did that pretty early on. I'm going to hear it again. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Okay, let's do this piece first. And again, you definitely need to like make sure it's loose enough to fit your piece. There we go. We're going to put this one on next, I believe. Make sure it's in the off position so I don't hurt anybody. Let's tighten this thing up. Let's tighten the tops. Let's tighten the bottoms. Very nice. Let's do it. It's just such a unique sound. Listen to that. That is such a unique sound. Yeah, I, okay, I know you prefer the blue. You prefer the blue, sure. But look at this yellow. This yellow is really, really good. Like, just the look of it all together is, no? No, you're not. Okay, okay, all right. You know what? I'll, I'll go, I'm gonna go with blue. Whoa, almost knocked it over again. Oh, I'll, I'll go with blue. Is this better? Yeah, yeah, he, he likes the blue. Guys, I want to know your thoughts. What do you like better? What color are you going to pick? Are you going to go purple? Are you going to go red? Do you remember, like, the red had a really cool sound, too. The greens are not... I like this yellow. I like yellow. I like blue. I... I think with this, this one fits with yellow perfectly. This one, I think, is more of a green. But blue also works. And again... Are they durable? We're gonna find out soon enough. I'm gonna take one of these out to the desert and I'm just gonna beat it until it breaks for you guys. Um, that's just what I do. I'm also gonna pick up one of the Doc Ondar's ones because I have a Jedi Temple lightsaber, which I haven't reviewed yet. I opened it last night. And in fact, you guys wanna see it? Let's take a quick look. Okay, so. See, Jedi Temple Guard. This isn't a full review. I'll do a full review later. But you push the button and you can open it up. It's a very nice plastic case. Very well done, but I can't do anything with it. I don't have a blade. So these are actually, they're cool and it's really nice and well made and I just love the look of it. But let's be real here. It just doesn't, it doesn't, it doesn't do anything without the blade and the hole inside is completely different. Let me show you close-ups of that real quick. Again, there is the Jedi Temple Guard lightsaber. You can kind of see it's a completely different hole inside. Uh, in fact, so the blade must be a different kind altogether. Again, it is a coated blade, so it knows exactly what color it is. But that stands up 
very, very similarly to Savi's. Now, this is a taller Savi's one because it's got the pointy ends. Um, in fact, actually, both of these are going to be a little bit taller, especially because that, that bone or that tooth at the bottom. So it is dwarfed. It's definitely dwarfed by the Build Your Own. So the Legacy ones are smaller, or at least the Jedi Temple Guard in this case is. But again, it uses its own blade. I don't have that blade yet, so I'm not able to do a review. Uh, once I buy the blade this Saturday, then I'll have a full-on review for you guys. I'm going to be doing a review on the Holocrons, just so you know. We're going to look at all the different, you know, what I can figure out for the Holocrons, all the different options. Um, also, we're going to be looking at the droids. I mean, look at this guy. He's all decked out. Oh, okay. okay. Right. Well, we won't look so close at him. Uh, but I've got other stuff like creatures. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, these, these, things are, these things are awesome. We've got Sabasqua Bid, who's back here behind me. But I've got a whole other, there's a monkey lizard. Oh my goodness, this is, these, these things are nuts. These things are so nuts. And then again, we have another BB unit back there. So I'm gonna be testing all of this stuff. All the Galaxy's Edge merch is gonna be tested. I'm gonna have a lot more stuff coming. So make sure you're subscribed, make sure you hit that like button, and please share these videos. I try to be informative and give you guys a breakdown on this stuff. I went with the intention of buying this stuff so I could figure this stuff out before you have to go down there and buy it yourself. $200 is a lot of money. I wanna make sure you guys know the right crystal. I wanna make sure you guys have the right sounds. Make sure you adopt the right creatures, build the right droids, all that good stuff. So. If you want to thank me, like use those links Amazon links will, down hmm? below. The way it works is you just do your Amazon shopping, but you start on one of my links. I get a small commission, which helps the channel quite a bit. It means more trips out to Batu, more stuff for me to review. I couldn't do it without you guys. <laughs> if you want to go further, I also have a Patreon. You can see the link down below. None of that's required. All that's required is you like, you rate the video, thumbs up or thumbs down, doesn't matter to me. Either way, as long as you give me a rating, it helps. So if you want to be a hater and thumbs it down, please go ahead. It still helps, you dingus. Guys, thank you so much for watching. I love you all so freaking much. In fact, some of you I saw in Galaxies, I saw some of you on Batu this weekend, and we took selfies and pictures and stuff. Please reach out to me on Twitter. If you met me in person and I give you a sticker and we took a picture, I took a picture with a couple people. Um, send me that picture, please. Some of you already have, but send me that picture. I want it for like my own personal memories. I want to like keep, because I had such a good weekend at Galaxy's Edge and meeting you guys was a very big part of that. So yeah, and and meeting you too. Yes, yes, S4D, B4B wise. He's, he's, he's nuts, he's, he's, he's just crazy, okay? Well, easy, 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 all right? You know what, to, you ready? You, we're ending this video, you know what to tell him? May the force have with you and goodbye forever. As always, thank you guys so much for watching. If you want more Galaxy's Edge news, make sure you're subscribed. Make sure you have notifications turned on. And check out one of these playlists. I've been putting all these Galaxy's Edge videos up here for you. I'm going to be vlogging. I'm going to be covering it. I'm going to be getting prices all for you. May the force have with you. Have good. Bye. Forever.